All right, guys. Today we're here to talk about the mojito, specifically the five most common mistakes that people seem to make when making them and how you can avoid those mistakes so that you can make a better mojito at home. So the mojito is really simple. Rum, lime, sugar, mint, carbonated water, and the right ice, of course. But obviously it's a, it's a summary, refreshing, it's light, and you don't have to overcomplicate things. Just take note of these five tips and you'll be making excellent mojitos in no time. All right, mistake number one, over muddling the mint. Mint is a really soft and delicate herb. You don't need to abuse the mint. You just need to softly press it and caress it with your muddler. Also, if you have a choice of muddlers, try and stick with something that has a flat bottom as opposed to something with teeth. The teeth are gonna grind it to pieces and then when you're drinking it through the straw, you've got these little mint chunks, which is a little bit unpleasant. So personally, I'd prefer to gently press it three, four, five times Nice and brief with a flat bottomed muddler. Mistake number two, using a premix or a fake lime juice. I mean, I, know, I understand that some people around the world don't have access to limes and therefore maybe you can substitute to lemons. If you have access to limes, do not use pre-purchased lime juice. This one in particular has sulfites, um, lime flavor preservatives. It's from reconstituted lime juice. If you have access to limes, just use limes. It, it'll, it'll make a better drink every time. Press the juice, and then when you press the juice using a citrus press such as this, it's gonna extract some of the, the oils from the rind and just improve that flavor tenfold. This does not compare to this. And if you're worried about the price of limes, I'll leave a link to Kevin Costa's video on how to make your own super juice, where you can get about five times the volume of juice from your limes simply by adding a little bit of water and some citric and malic acid. It sounds complicated, but it's not. Make sure you check out the video. Those acids are readily available at brew shops, so it's a super easy technique and you can extend your citrus life. Check the video out. And mistake number three, the rum that you choose to use. A lot of people use a spiced, a dark, or a flavored rum. Well, obviously you can use it if you want to, but if you're trying to make a classic mojito, use a lightly aged Cuban rum if not a Puerto Rican rum. Puerto, Puerto, Puerto Rican rum? How do you pronounce it? Havana Club 3, I know in America a lot of people don't have access to authentic Cuban rum, um, but Havana 3 is a great rum to use. Uh, typically Cuban and Puerto Rican rums are column distilled, meaning they are smoother and a little bit lighter in flavor, and that just lends itself to a mojito. It's light and it's refreshing. Refresh, refreshing, I can never say refreshing. It's light, refreshing, and summery. As I said, if you want to, absolutely you can use it, but if you want to make a classic mojito, use a lightning age rum, Havana Club, Bacardi. I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, it's blasphemy, you can't use Bacardi. Use Bacardi, it's fine. Mistake number four, the types of mixes that you use. You'd be surprised at how many people actually use Sprite for the mojitos. So Sprite being a lemon and lime flavored soda. Don't use flavored sodas, uh, it's simple. It's just carbonated water, a club soda, seltzer, mineral water, carbonated water, whatever those three you prefer to use, use that in your mojito and only use it in a small portion, i.e. 30, 45 mil, one to one and a half ounces. It's just there to add a little bit of effervescence. It's not there to drown the drink. Uh, some people don't even use carbonated water. So that just tells you how little you do actually need uh, it's just for that effervescence and uh, that, little, little, that little spritz. Mistake number five, the type of ice you use. Avoid that shitty server station ice, servo ice, you guys in Australia, you all know what I'm talking about, it's terrible. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really have great access to bagged ice at shops. And I believe in America, some people can even buy a bagged pebble ice or sonic ice or whatever you call it, but we're not so lucky here in Australia. These cubes are about 25 mil, one inch by one inch. Uh, and as you can see, maybe there's a lot of room in the glass and the the mojito is only, it only consists of off the top of my head, roughly 90, 90 to hundred mils, roughly. Um, so this leaves a lot of space in your glass. It is this, chills your drink incredibly fast, keeps it cold, uh, it looks great. And it just, it works so much better using pebble ice. So rather than using large, cubes of ice, use pebble ice or crushed ice. I mean, I assume that most people don't have a pebble ice machine at home. So you can always crush ice with a Lewis bag and a mallet, even a, a tea towel and a rolling pin. Um, crush it up until it's yay big 
yay big, yep, that big, <laughs> little, little small pellets, uh, and use that in your drink and you'll be thanking me later. There are guys, two mojitos, one that is pretty damn average. It's fairly unpleasant. And one that is super bright, very refreshing. Okay guys, now I've shown you the five most common mistakes when making mojitos. Let me know in the comments below if you agree, disagree, or if there's something that you think outranks these five particular mistakes that I've mentioned in the video. See you soon. Cheers.